Hey, how are you doing? This is called the end of the speed of light. <clears throat> It'll be quick. Okay, let's get started. It's a speed of light based on a definite or an average. It's based on an average. Average of what? An average of the globe Earth's distance to the sun in the heliocentric model. What was step one in determining the speed of light? The Kepler's analemma was correct. Where did Kepler originally learn the geocentric sun cycle? Astrology. So what did Kepler base his helio heliocentric sun cycle on? Kepler, Kepler based his helio heliocentric sun cycle on an amalgamation of the original geocentric sun cycle and the Copernican model. So what was the speed of light based on again? An average distance to the sun based on Kepler's heliocentric analemma. So what was step one in determining a distance to the sun? That we were on a globe earth with an ra average radius value of 3959 miles. And how did they determine this radius value? With a dip angle to the geometric horizon. So is the, is the horizon we see geometric then? No, the horizon we see is apparent only. And what does this mean, apparent only? It means that it only appears that the earth meets the sky. So is the geocentric and apparent horizons the same thing? No, one is mathematical and is based on a radius value, whereas the other is optical only, a visual horizon that's based on our observer's elevation optics and weather. So do we see the geometric horizon? No, it is mathematical only and not visual. Then how did they get a dip angle to it? They refer to the maths. But are, are the maths not based on the geometric horizon that we can't see? Yes. But if they can't see the geometric horizon to get a dip angle to it, and the maths are based on the geometric horizon they can't see, then how could they refer to the maths that are based on the very thing they can't see in the first place? They know it's there. The geometric horizon, yes. But how do they know it's there? Because they have the maths. But where did they get the maths from? The geometric horizon. The horizon they can't see, yes. So, the speed of light is based on a heliocentric belief of an average distance to the sun, and this distance to the sun is based on the belief that we are on a globe earth with a radius value of 3959 miles, and this radius value is based on a geometric horizon that is only visible in mathematics that are based on this geometric horizon that we don't see. Yes. So going off these globe earth mathematics that are based on a geometric horizon that we can't see from a one foot observation height, the horizon can be no further than 1.22 miles from the observer. Yes. And if the horizon is further than 1.22 miles from an observation height of one foot, what does this mean? It means that it's refracted. And what is this refraction based on? The geometric horizon. The one we can't see. Yes. But if we can't see this geometric horizon, how did, they, how did you calculate a refractive value based on it? Because we have the maths. The maths are based on you seeing this geometric horizon. Yes. And can you see this geometric horizon? No. Have you seen this?